What is going on world? Welcome back once again. My name is Zach Novak and this is Zach Novak Plays Games. Now in today's video, I do actually have something pretty cool. It is all of Cade's catches. If you guys haven't actually gone around and got the treasure map from Cade, go ahead and pick them up. 2,500 glimmer each. It is pretty awesome. You can go ahead and see a bunch of things. Anyway, quickly, this thing at the tower, there is this actual control panel. It says to summon your jump ship, something like that. If you chill around for a few seconds, you'll actually notice that your jump ship actually does kind of fly in and appear. It is pretty freaking cool. You can't actually stand on it or anything like that, but you can look at it and things like that kind of stuff but yeah again it is intangible so you go through it but still it is pretty freaking awesome roll the intros and let's get into this catches hopefully fingers crossed we get something good let us do this Alrighty, so starting this first one out with the Nessus treasure map of Arcadian Valley. Now this one is actually pretty simple to get if you do actually spawn into Exodus Black. As soon as you guys spawn in, you'll see an area like this. What you're going to do is pretty much just get on your sparrow and follow this path. I myself did not actually use a sparrow in this video from the start. I then actually bought out my sparrow because I realized, you know what, it's going to be a lot quicker using said sparrow. But all you got to do is follow the path up this way. You'll see these little boxes. This guy's actually here kind of helped me. He was pretty freaking nice about this kind of stuff. And yeah, he showed me where the treasure chest was and I was really freaking happy. But if you follow this actual corridor, come around here, turn left, he disappears and there is the chest right here in the corner. You guys can open it, see if you get any actual good, you know, loot. The pro drummer down. Now, it is actually a very big mouthful that word, but if you guys do get some pretty good loot, let me know in the comment section because I got pretty much shit. But moving on to the next one, if you guys want to actually come ahead, we go straight down to this one, which is pretty freaking close. It is also in the Arcadian Valley. Now, what you're going to do is come from the spot you were literally just at, follow this path down, and I'm coming down here, jump over a few of these little rocks and stuff. There is an area down here, as you guys can see. It has a couple of shanks just chilling outside. If you want to go ahead and kill them, you can, but if not, then just run straight into the actual cave. Go ahead and follow it through, and it isn't actually all the way into said cave. If you keep coming through, there is this little ledge you can kind of jump up and around. You don't actually have to jump around to get it. The ledge will actually is on the floor. You can kind of just walk up a few rocks. You walk in this little room, and bam, you have another chest. Tell me if you guys got anything cool, because again, I got absolutely nothing. But moving on, finally to the third one, as you guys can see, this one is down near the cistern. What you're going to do is travel to the cistern, bring out your sparrow, and then pretty much take a left from as soon as you spawn and follow the actual path up along this way. It is pretty easy to find this one. It isn't actually out of the way at all, but I myself got certainly confused and decided to check up around this whole area and was very much confused, even after I already knew where it kind of was. I walked straight past the dome where it was. I kind of saw it, ended up turning back and realized, okay, it wasn't actually up here. It's way back there. It's not this dome. Don't make the mistake that I did. Just pretty much come straight to this one and you guys will get your loot. Let me know again in the comments section, did you guys get anything good from this? Because so far I haven't gotten anything good from any of these catches. I mean, I think I got a legendary engram further along, but yeah, kind of does suck. Moving on though to the next one, as you guys will see, this one is up a little bit further up where the artifacts edge is. What you're going to do is spawn in here where artifacts edge is, jump straight down to the floor as it's a very fun thing to do, pick up some material if it is on the planet for you, then grab your sparrow at, pretty much just come speeding down this path here. Keep following the path through and eventually you'll get to a spot called the Hallows. It is actually a pretty cool area in itself. I kind of think it looks pretty freaking awesome. There is actually this giant drop here. Don't go into that hole because it's not that one. It is actually this second hole over here. As you guys can see, it is a glowing chest in the corner. Let me know once again, did you guys happen to get any exotics from these? Anything good? Let me know in the comment section because I'd be very much hyped to know that there is some good stuff in this because all I keep getting is crap. But moving on to the next one, we have Up in the Tangled. Now, what we're going to have to do is where we are at the moment, pretty much just turn around and follow the path straight this way. It isn't really too hard to get where you're going. Just jump on your sparrow from the hallows and pretty much follow the exact same path that you were on from the start. You turn around, you keep following this up and through and eventually you get to an area that looks pretty much the same as it was. Artifacts Edge. We all know this area. It is very common. It is where you spawn in on. 
but it is not where you want to actually be. What you're going to do is then, let's just speed this up a little bit, go through this area and eventually you get to this spot called the Tangle. Once you reach this spot called the Tangle, it is fairly simple to find said chest. If you actually have this still uh, orange mission that's located on your map, go ahead and find it. If you cannot, let's pretty much walk straight from where you were when you kind of enter the entrance of this place and keep walking forward. Eventually you'll get to this chasm, this ravine where you jump off and drop. Where you can see the orange stuff, that's where you want to go. Head straight into said cave, but don't be too hasty and follow it all the way in like I ended up doing. What you're going to do is pretty much right when you get to that spot, there is a door. So don't keep running this way because it is seriously just a waste of time. And it's, yeah, it's really just, it's a waste of time. And if you're like me, you'll end up feeling stupid. But anyway, turn around, come back if you did do it. And there is this little doorway here. As you guys can see, a little hallway in itself that is pretty hidden, a passageway, if you will. Follow it all the way in and you have this chest that actually spawns. If you were to do said mission that follows all the way through this place, you would get to a teleporter that could teleport you back and you can come back through the red teleporter up there and then grab this if you had it available. But as you guys can see, I got pretty much nothing. I got an emblem, which is kind of cool, the Jade Rabbit Redux. I think it looks fairly cool. It's pink, and uh, yeah, who doesn't like pink? I mean, that's pretty cool. I also ended up getting some pretty crappy um, items that really were just, yeah, armor and weapons that I just dismantled. Anyway, we also got this, which I thought was pretty freaking cool. We got Heart of a Hunter, which is actually Cade's um, journal that actually has statements in it that says he was once a human and tells stories from that past, which is pretty freaking cool. We also have a letter fragment, which is nearly illegible by the Vanguard missive in itself. It does tell some stories. And we also have a schematic cube. I think that's how you say it. Something tells me if we put a few items in here, ah, never mind. Might as well just turn it into Cade. So yeah, that is pretty freaking cool. It does actually show that there was, you know, things in Destiny 1 where you had to actually get a cube and put things into. But once you do actually return to Cade and turn in what you have, he does give you a few different things. As you guys can read this on the screen, if you want to pause it, it is actually kind of cool. He does actually state about certain things that we didn't actually know about Cade. He had a wife and a child and he was human, which is really freaking cool and I think is really, really hype. But once you do actually turn certain things in, you'll get some reputation from him. Not very much, but it is a tiny little bit to kind of, you know, level up slightly with Cade 6. He is a very beastly person and he is pretty freaking cool. But again, that is Cade's actual catch. It's all that is available this week. I will try to get this video up next week earlier by actually next week. I mean, in next couple of days it should be going reset anyway hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video if you have clicked that like button down below do all that good stuff and i'll be cheering like kieran if he was ed sheeran share this video around because a lot of people do actually need to know where Cade stuff is because again potentially you can get exotics you can get emotes you can get a lot of things from these actual catches let me know in the comment section if you guys actually did get anything and until next time do all that good stuff i'll be cheering like kieran if he was ed sheeran and this is zach novak i'm signing off until next time this is Zach Novak, signing off. Peace out.